you've caused quite a storm in the Supreme Court of India and in the legal fraternity with a statement that you made, and if I may quote you, you said, people are not happy with the collegium system for appointment of judges. Who are the people who are not happy, sir? Good evening. Uh, first of all, I'm not critical about the judiciary or the judges, but I am stating a fact which is a reflection of the thinking of the common people of India. When we talk about system, then immediately what comes to the mind is transparency, accountability. When there is a system in place which is not accountable, which is not transparent, which is opaque, then if the concerned minister doesn't speak out, who else should? So I'm basically stating a fact which is basically a reflection of the thinking of the, especially amongst the lawyers community and the judges also. The judges themselves realize that the system is opaque. How is the system opaque and how can transparency come in the system? See, no system can be 100% perfect. But we definitely should look for the better system and the better practice. You, if you remember in 2015 when the Parliament of India passed the National Judicial uh, Commission Act, the Supreme Court struck it down. When the Supreme Court struck it down, then the Supreme Court also should tell what is the better option. They did not tell the better option, but they felt that the old collegium system should continue. It is continuing. I am not satisfied with the present system. I spoke it out, and majority of judges, they agree with me, because what I'm saying is fact. I'm not saying anything which is contrary to their belief and their understanding. But that's a very big statement to make that the judges themselves are not happy uh, with the collegium system. Uh, are you referring to a high court judge who in 2019 had written a letter to Prime Minister of India and referred to the collegium system uh, there were reports that words to the effect that this was neither transparent but there was nepotism and casteism that was being encouraged see uh, i can't be very academic here because it will become very lengthy but if you see the collegium system there is a collegium the senior most judges they decide the chief justice and the senior most one two so these three members collegium in the high court and for Supreme Court, there's five members, four Supreme Court judges and three members for the High Court judges. They decide names on the basis of their understanding about the particular name and also they consult the consultees. Who are the consultee judges? Now suppose if you are a consultee judge, you will recommend only those names whom you are aware of. They are your acquaintances or they are known to you. Otherwise, you won't be recommending somebody whom you don't know. So the basic fault in the system itself is that, that you don't recommend, even if it's a qualified, fit, good enough, and perfect person to be a judge in high court or Supreme Court. But you can't recommend because you don't know him. So you imagine that recommendation, some, something within your own choice, is something which I'm opposed to. The fittest of the persons should be elevated as judges, not the person whom you know. But then who decides who's the fittest to be, let's say, a high court judge or a Supreme Court justice? Who decides? This is the government. And if the government decides, it is said that how will you ensure that the judges are then not dependent on the government or, or beholden to the government? See, in the present system, government does the due diligence based on the reports and other informations which we have, which the judges don't have. We have the Intelligence Bureau reports, we have the mechanism in place through my Department of Justice and other reports. So we carefully deal with all the issues and we come to the conclusion that government should agree to a particular name. It is not you know, easy to, to come to a conclusion for somebody to be elevated as a judge of Supreme Court. If I don't do due diligence, then I will be failing in my responsibilities. So that is why it is not only the government, it is not only the judiciary, but combined we can come together. That is what 
anti industrial judicial appointment commission talked about that is chief justice of india law minister two senior judges and two eminent personalities they come together and there will be names there will be some kind of backup there will be certain things on the basis of which you will pick up the names so the system in place was appropriate and now that has been struck down well we are doing whatever is uh, possible in the present system despite not being satisfied with the system i have to carry forward unless we come out with alternative mechanism